waiting for this moment for the past four months literally I've been waiting for this moment that we can just get cozy on the sofa get ourselves a nice big drink and just have the biggest debrief and catch up ever I feel like I've got so much to share with you and chat to you guys about that's been going on over the past four months and it just feels do you know what, ever since we announced the pregnancy of our second baby at the beginning of this month, I have honestly just felt almost this like new lease of life. Um, I feel like the biggest weight ever has been lifted from my shoulders. Um, and as much as it was lovely to keep this news offline for a little while, I feel like I felt like it was really a very peaceful time because it was only us that knew and it just felt really intimate and peaceful and it gave us time to process the news because honestly I feel like do pregnancies ever feel real I feel like more than ever in this pregnancy it just does not feel real um it just it feels absolutely surreal and it did with Noah and I'm like I think I imagined being pregnant a second time I'd kind of I don't know like it would it would just feel more real um but yeah as I was saying as much as it was lovely to just kind of keep that news to ourselves for a little bit it feels just truly amazing to be able to share this really really happy time with all of you I feel like we have built up such a strong friendship over the past six years I've been online and yeah I just I feel on top of the world since announcing our pregnancy and I just I'm so happy to be sat here today <laughs> um, and yeah we're gonna have a big catch up this morning. I popped up a little question box for you guys on Instagram um, to ask any questions so I thought we could just have the biggest catch up ever. Um, so yeah, make yourself comfortable, get yourself a big cup of tea or coffee. I am a tea girl in this pregnancy. I am loving, this mug number one is my pregnancy comfort mug. You guys know I've had this for about, I wanna say like four years now, this Dumbo mug. I love it, I absolutely love it. And it just, it holds so much tea. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't drank coffee for about, a month and I actually feel really good for it I said this in my last pregnancy because I could not drink coffee throughout my entire pregnancy with Noah like just the smell of it the taste of it everything I was like I remember last time like not drinking coffee for nine months I felt a lot calmer I felt a lot more zen um, I felt like I had definitely less anxious days and then obviously <laughs> I had a newborn baby and I needed coffee like coffee wasn't it was an essential so then I kind of got addicted to coffee again until now and now I'm drinking the tea even though apparently tea and coffee are meant to have the same caffeine in aren't they I just I just don't believe that and I never will because tea does not give me that coffee caffeine buzz like I feel like they're so different um but yeah I just feel a lot calmer a lot more without the coffee so maybe we'll try just thinking about having a newborn baby and a toddler and I'm like Gemma let's be honest we all know you're gonna go back to the coffee Okay my loves, first things first, this part of today's video is very kindly sponsored by My Vitamins and for the past four months I have been taking my pregnancy gummies. These for me are such a pregnancy essential. I took these throughout my entire pregnancy with Noah right 
from when I found out all the way through to postpartum and they are just brilliant. They are a brilliant all-rounder gummy. You take two each day. They are literally like little sweets, so like nice to take because like I said, they taste like sweets. They are mixed berry flavor. They look like this and they are absolutely delicious. Take two every day. They are packed with everything you need in your pregnancy. So they have folic acid in, which is so important to take, especially in your first trimester. Um, they also have vitamin D, vitamin C. They're just an essential, pregnancy essential. Have an amazing My Vitamins code, which will save you so much money. I'll pop it on screen and I'll also leave a direct link down below. Um, but I know whenever you guys run out of your vitamins and you need to do like a big top up shop You always send me the savings on Instagram DMs and I love it. Actually, it's over half price So it's definitely like a really good code to use Open up on all of your essentials or you're just trying something new Okay my loves, I am going to read out a couple of your questions So most asked question is how far along are you? So I am currently 19 weeks and five days guys you're never gonna believe this because me and jamie are still so shocked by it baby number two's due date is the same due date as noah's so we are literally in sync two years apart which is just i'm like of all the days of the year so noah was due on the 27th of may but he was four days late and came on the 31st of may Baby number two's due date is the 27th of May. I just can't believe it. I cannot get over it. It's just going to be so special, like, when it gets closer to the time. Like, is he going to come on Noah's birthday? Is he going to come on his due date? Like, I just think it's so exciting. And it's lovely as well because, like I said, we like, it's the exact same as it was two years ago. Um, so, yeah, I am due May the 27th. It feels so soon. Like now we're in 2024, I'm like, okay, Gemma, we should probably start like getting some stuff ready. <laughs> I'm feeling so unprepared for this pregnancy. Um, another one of your guys' questions were, are there any like differences between this pregnancy and Noah's pregnancy? So I feel like symptoms have been pretty much exactly the same. So I was very 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 sick in my first trimester i really didn't feel like myself at all um for a good i'd say until about week 14 i felt terrible i had really bad migraines all the time i was dizzy all the time like every time i stood up i was super dizzy um and i just was sick all the time being sick feeling sick it was morning sickness again that just lasted all day and night <laughs> Um, and it was a really like rough period as well when Noah was kind of like going through a sleep protesting period where he was up every two hours and it was just really tough like I would say probably from like end of September to beginning of December I just was really 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 struggling and I found that really hard not to be able to kind of chat to you guys about and um, I almost felt like I had to um, come online and almost like pretend that I felt okay and I hate doing that like I really really don't like doing that because I like to always almost like pride myself a little bit in if I'm feeling a certain way I will share it with you because I think it's really important I think it's important to um, share when you're not feeling okay but I couldn't because <laughs> obviously we were keeping it private for a little while I couldn't say anything so that's why it just feels so good to finally be able to just speak honestly and openly about everything um so yeah in terms of symptoms felt exactly the same as i did with noah um i would say i feel a lot more further along this pregnancy which i've i've been told is common <laughs> i feel like my bump at say almost 20 weeks is the size noah's my bump with Noah was at like 30 weeks, so I feel like I'm going to be a big mama. I'm going to be a big mama when I get to about 30 weeks. Um, and I just feel like everything's a lot like sore. Um, I feel like my back hurts more and like 
everything I just I feel more pregnant I feel way more pregnant than almost 20 weeks um so there's that but then also I feel so much more chill this pregnancy like I feel a lot calmer and I think that's because this isn't my first rodeo <laughs> and I kind of I hate the unknown like that's one thing about me I hate change and I hate the unknown um, I'm such a, a bit of a control freak with like planning things and knowing what's coming and I, I think I really am enjoying knowing like what's coming next and even like knowing what birth was like I think takes away so much anxiety from pregnancy and takes away um, just so much worry and I just feel a lot more chilled and that kind of like ties into I'm very unprepared for this pregnancy. I haven't really bought anything. Um, another one of your guys' questions was, have you started the nursery? And I feel like this all kind of ties in to the same question. The nursery has honestly, I mean, it's been thought about, but I'm sure this point in my pregnancy with Noah, like the nursery was nearly done. And there's, it, I just feel really um, unorganized, but at the same time, like I'm not, I don't feel overwhelmed about that. Well, I do. There are times I do. D don't don't lie to yourself, Gemma. Like you you feel overwhelmed. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. Um, but I just I feel a lot more chill. I feel a lot more like need to get this, need to get that, and I feel like because I know what's to come. And obviously, I've had a baby before. I just feel. I think actually, in a way, I feel not more excited, just like more relaxed about this pregnancy because I just know what's coming and I I love that <laughs> the control freak in me just loves to like be able to plan a little bit um but going back to the nursery so currently we have our dressing room our bedroom Noah's room and then my office so my office is actually going to be baby boy's nursery which is so exciting I'm really looking forward to doing another nursery um i have started like collecting a couple of ideas and i think we are gonna make probably a start on the nursery next month so i should think february is going to be nursery month um really excited to share lots of home updates with you guys i'm actually going to be moving my office into jamie's office which is outside so we're going to kind of like share that one um but yeah I just do you know what I just feel like I feel um like full does that make sense like I feel content now baby number two is coming I just feel like complete that's the word not full I'm full like I've just eaten a big meal I feel just complete um and I'm really really excited so yeah nursery updates are soon to come really excited to create something really lovely and special for the new little one next question quite a lot of you guys asked was do i have any cravings so cravings honestly have just been food <laughs> just all the food i am hungry all the time um i just want to eat like meals all the time like i'm not really I don't really feel like snacks. I want like meals. We're talking like, I want like jacket potato. I want like lasagna. Um, just meals <laughs> all the time. I just, I feel a lot hungrier in this pregnancy than I did with Noah. Um, obviously the first three months, I didn't really eat anything because I just felt so sick at the sight, smell and taste of everything, even water. Um, but now I am almost 20 weeks, definitely got my appetite back. I just, food, do you know what? Food tastes different when you're pregnant. It tastes, oh, I could cry, so good. Um, but my cravings are definitely cold, icy things again. Um, I love fresh juice, like a fresh glass of apple juice with loads of ice, love. Um, a Calippo ice lolly again, cola flavored, delicious um yeah anything cold anything fresh at the moment i'm really into like fresh tomato and mozzarella i know that's really random but i just love it um and another thing i have been obsessed with this pregnancy which is like 
I feel like such a thing that happens on films is pickles. Give me a jar of pickles and I am so happy. I'm in my element. It actually does give Jamie the ick. We went to the beach last weekend and I took a jar of pickles with me and I had them on my lap and I was fully just eating these gigantic pickles and he was just like, no. <laughs> And they're just so yum. I'm like so into, oh my God, I'm so weird. I'm so into like watching like pickle ASMR and like pickle taste tests on TikTok. I am going to order one of those gigantic pickles, you know, that you put like the crispy bits in and the fruit wind around the outside. Like when I get one of them, we will try it together, me and you. They just, mm, mm, pickles, anything like, I love anything salty, anything vinegary. Mmm, pickles. I really want to go and get one out of the fridge, but it is 9am. I feel like it might. It's a little bit early for a pickle. Okay, another question that there were lots of was, how are you feeling about having another baby? And how are you feeling about being a mum of two? So, firstly, I'm of course so excited. I cannot wait for Noah to have a little brother like I he is he loves other children so much he is obsessed with babies and I think they are going to have such a beautiful age gap like two year age gap is going to be so lovely for them I also feel like he's going to be at an age where he is gonna understand that there's a baby but not too much like not too much to kind of get jealous um, and I just think they're gonna have the most wonderful bond and I really like I could sit here and cry like it, I just I'm so happy but then there's obviously of course a part of me that is um, I don't know it's such a mix of emotions like there's a part of me that's a little bit um, a little bit like nervous I guess um obviously i only know life us three so it's it's gonna it's it's just gonna be a big change and like i've said before i'm not the best with adapting to change um and i know as well that there are parts of that there, there are always parts of motherhood that i do really struggle with um and i think one of the the hardest bits for me was completely losing myself when i first had noah um, I've said this to a couple of my friends that have recently had babies, but I feel like when you give birth, this, this sounds so weird and I, I, I do get weirded out when I say it cause I like imagine it and I'm like, Ooh, but I just think it's so true. Like when you give birth to your baby, you literally give birth to a whole new you. I honestly feel like everything changes. Like you as a person, like you change, um, mm. your interests change, your priorities change, people in your life change. Um, like everything is just so different and I think that took a really long time for me to come to terms with and I guess there's part of me that's just a little bit worried that that's going to happen again um, but then on the flip side of that I truly feel like I was also saying this to one of my friends the other day I truly feel like I am who I'm meant to be right now like Gemma today right now um mum Gemma, fiance Gemma, homebody Gemma, um, quiet life, slow, slow quiet life Gemma is me. Like I feel like me right now is me down to a T, that rhymes, but I just, I feel like I truly am like where I'm meant to be um, and who I'm meant to be. So that's like a really nice feeling and that is honestly something that I've not felt in years and years and years. Like probably, I'd probably say like seven to eight years of my life I've not I don't know if I've ever felt like this. Um, but especially now I'm pregnant, I just feel like this was where I was meant to be. Um, and it's a really lovely feeling actually. It's a very like settling, peaceful, um, just lovely feeling. And yeah, there's of course a part of me that's a little bit nervous, but I feel like the excitement overrides that massively. And yeah. I can't believe there's going to be another baby here this year in literally five months. Another question lots of you guys asked was, do we have a name um, for new baby? And the answer to that is yes. We are pretty set on a name. You never 
really know 100% until the baby is here and you look at your baby's face because I feel like your baby needs to look like that name. <laughs> Um, so we will of course be sharing that with you guys when the baby is here, but um, there was always kind of like two names that we loved, Noah being one of them and then another name that we just really loved and it goes with Noah really nicely as well and yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to use that name. Um, but very exciting! And yeah guys, I think that's everything I really have to update you on. Um, I kind of picked out like the most asked questions but yeah that's that's pretty much all we have to catch up on I'm so happy to be in like real time now and actually be able to have like real time conversations about pregnancy and babies and just everything so exciting that's happening like the nursery and yeah it's ah, I just I feel really really happy if you enjoyed our little catch up I feel like I've got everything off my chest now um, plans for now are I'm gonna pop over to Big Sainsbury's what a treat I have not had a trip to Big Sainsbury's for a really long time have a browse get a weekly food shop I love the home section in Sainsbury's and the baby section so I'm really excited just to have a little bit of a mooch I love a supermarket browse especially like a good supermarket that's big has a nice home section I just I love nothing more than a big supermarket browse so i'm gonna head over to sainsbury's now um and i will share with you a little weekly food shopping haul when i get home just wanted to share with you a little comfy maternity outfit of the day so i've got my super cozy we call this the yeti jumper and i love it i got it from h&m a while ago i love just how just slouchy it is it's really lovely cozy material we've got like little side splits i just feel like it sits really nicely and it's got a lovely high neck that is not tight either it's like a nice loose neck um so i've just got this on and then if you see me in these trousers until may <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? They are just so comfortable. So I picked up a couple of maternity bits from H&M. And these maternity leggings are honestly one of my favourite things ever. They are like a wide leg, super soft, quite thin, like ribbed material, um, wide leg trouser. And they're just so comfortable. I'm at the stage of pregnancy where leggings that are tight around my belly are just a no like get them off my body anything tight I'm just like no we're, we're not we're not wearing that <laughs> whereas these are just lovely and look how high-waisted they are like literally they go all the way up my body they go up to here um and because they're maternity trousers there is nothing tight around my bump um like there's a little band here and then a little band at the top and they're just so comfortable guys i absolutely love them i jump her out the way so i can show you guys a little bump i feel like the bump just looks so big considering i'm 20 weeks um but yeah you can see just how comfortable these trousers are i just absolutely love them and i need them in every color um, so yeah, this is my outfit i've also got on a new purchase which are these I've got some black tasman platforms and they are just the comfiest little shoe i thought i'd get some black ones because i often wear like an all black outfit um and i think they just go really nicely so yeah this is my little comfy outfit of the day ready to have a good old browse in sainsbury's Time and I forgot how teeny they were. 
Sainsbury's has always been one of my favourite places for baby clothes. I just think they're so cute. That is so sweet. They've got loads of lovely bits. This is so tiny. I literally forgot how tiny newborn babies are. Oh, that is so cute. Sainsbury's. I've just laid out our grocery shop ready to share a big food shopping haul with you guys. Is there anything better? I love nothing more than seeing other people's weekly food shops. So it was quite a big one this week. We needed a lot of like top ups. We've run out of so much. Um, we do have HelloFresh this week. So pretty much most of our dinners are sorted. So this is kind of just like lunches, cupboard bits, snacky, like top up kind of bits. So Let's start over here. We've got lots of fruit and veg, lots of herbs, always have lots of fresh herbs because I do a lot of cooking, um, salad. Then over this side, oh, jacket potatoes. Oh, that's been one of my favorite things this pregnancy. A big baked jacket potato in the air fryer. If you guys haven't tried air fryer jacket potatoes, you need to. You simply pop them in the microwave for 10 minutes. Um, put some oil on, lots of salt, like the flaky salt, and then pop it in the air fryer for 20 minutes and they are the most beautiful, crispy, oh, fluffy potatoes. They're just gorgeous. Jacket potato, butter, cheese in that order, so the cheese melts, tuna mayo on top, little side salad. Oh, that's one of my, one of my favorite things, actually, one of my favorite dinners. Then we just got a selection of cheese, burrata um one of my favorite little things to have at the moment is a pita or some sourdough toast um and then some hummus some avocado and some burrata and some tomatoes on top mm, one of my favorite things mozzarella we use this a lot whether it's in a little tomato salad um on top of pasta so i've got a big one of those some cathedral city i've become like a bit of a cheese snob <laughs> since falling pregnant because I, I can't have like brie and camembert and all of the good stuff i'm like finding the best cheddar and this is just oh, i absolutely love it one of my favorite snacks at the moment is a chunk of cheese and an apple bite of cheese bite of apple absolutely love it then we've got large garlic um loads of yogurts <laughs> all the yogurts here. I feel like this food shop is a bit excessive now. I'm like, why do I have four different types of yogurt? The answer to that is, this is kind of just like a bit of a generic yogurt to have with like fruit, granola. Noah loves these, Jamie loves these, and I love, Teddy just dumped down from the white top, if you're wondering what that big bang was. I love these ones, they are one of my favorite yogurts. Then we've got some butter over there, um, fizzies, oh, I'm obsessed with fizzy drinks, Diet Coke, Fanta Zero, lots of ice, bit of lime, oh, that's like my top, top craving. Um, got some chopped tomatoes, again I use these for a lot of cooking, tuna, all the milk, we've got Noah's milk here which has got the Gruffalo on it, so cute. <laughs> I just love the packaging for that milk and when he sees it in the shop he fully knows what it is and he goes ma 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 then tomato soup do you know what guys i've fallen back in love with this i feel like there's just nothing quite like a big bowl of heinz cream of tomato soup some nice chunky buttered bread or toast i love toast and soup cheese on top black pepper just such a yummy lunch or dinner pasta just got some taglatelli um, and also I'm loving this, really, really loving this. Um, just for a quick little lunch, little salad on the side, really easy, it cooks in like two minutes. Got these for tonight's dinner. Um, these, I'm also loving in my pregnancy. Love these just to keep in the fridge, little snack, maybe a little bit of cheese, couple grapes, few crackers, again, a nice easy little lunch. Um, 
what else do we have? These fajita kits, oh, why am I out of breath from talking? Fajita kits are so yummy. I love to just have a fajita kit in our cupboards, um, again, for a quick and easy dinner. These chili and honey ones are one of my favorites. They're really, really nice. Um, and then moving on to over here, we've kind of just got a lot of stuff for the snack cupboard. So mainly Noah's bits. Noah loves raisins. His little toy giraffe that he's obsessed with is called Raisin. Like he just, he's always been obsessed with raisins. Um, so these are great just to like take on the go. They're the little ones in the box. Picked up some of these in last week's food shop and he is obsessed. I got some biscuits. Noah is truly in his dipping biscuits in tea era. Speaking of Noah's tea, I bought him some decaf, some decaf. Um, he was having normal tea, which to be honest guys, like he doesn't drink the cup of tea, like it's purposely like a dip. And he dips like one biscuit in there, so he really would not have been, he'd probably been getting like half a teaspoon of tea. But I was just a little bit worried, thinking like it's completely unnecessary for him to have any kind of caffeine, even if it is like a sip. So I just bought this one. Felt like it was a sensible parent thing to do. <laughs> um, I got some more lemon and ginger and honey tea. I'm loving this in the evenings at the moment. Malt loaf, again, one of Noah's favorite things. I got loads of cereal bars because at the moment I'm just hungry all the time and I just needed something like really quick and easy to grab. You know, if I'm like driving somewhere or I haven't got time to make something, I need just something quick and easy that I can grab. So I've got the bananas. And then I thought I could like take a little breakfast bar. So I got these naked bars. I love those. These eat naturals. Again, another one of my faves. Little yogurt breaks. Um, these blueberry cereal bars. And then a Belvita breakfast pack of biscuits. Then cereal, Special K, Frosties. These are two that we always have in our cupboard. And then I picked up some crisps. I've got some Walker's cheese and onion. I'm loving a uh, loving crisps at the moment. Picked up some crumpets, some white bread, some sourdough, and some olive oil because we've just run out. And then I picked up just some of these microwave rices, which are so handy for us to just have in the cupboard. Um, another one of my favourite lunches is I will cook a roast chicken and then I'll like shred it all and I'll have for lunch quite a lot actually, half a pack of the microwavable rice, some shredded roast chicken, some lime, some avocado, um, salad. It's just oh, such a lovely like fresh lunch and really filling. So I got some of those just because they're so much quicker. They take two minutes compared to like 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, and I got Noah some of these smoothies, which he's really loving at the moment. shopping and I just made myself a little snack it's a bit of a random snack but I want to share it with you guys because it's one of my favorite things so I've just got a little bowl of special K this is the red berry special K and then I am gonna pop in don't judge until you've tried it some of my Greek yogurt this is one of my favorite Greek yogurts it's so lovely and creamy two tablespoons of this on top of my cereal and then what I'm going to do is mix it all up so like all of the cereal is coated in the yogurt add in some chopped strawberries they're like chopped into little pieces um, it's also really yum with blueberries so I'm going to pop them in and give it a mix again it's all mixed in a little drizzle of honey on top of there and this is just such a lovely mid-morning snack. Mm -mm -mm.
<laughs> Good afternoon. We have wrapped up warm and we're out for a lovely winter walk. <laughs> Popping in the shot like. Hi. Hey guys, it's me Hello. and Noah. I mean, it's me and Dada. We have come to one of our favourite places. We haven't actually been in ages. Um, it's called Holcomb and there's like a really nice little woodland walk bit there and then I'll show you in a minute but you like come out I'm doing a really bad job at explaining this and there's like a dome Ranger. and then you can see over the sea a dome? Did, it's like a dome isn't it? a bay? It? is it called a bay? bay a dome, dome? is like oh I'm thinking of like that way dome guys look at Noah's boots they're grumpy <laughs> they are the cutest ever I bought them ages ago but they've only really just they're still a little bit big but they've only really just started fitting he loves them he loves anything gruffalo Going to find the Gruffalo's cat. <laughs> wow! He's wow. barely holding on. Good job, you're a hill climber now. Very clever. Wow! And a reward at the top of the hill. Yes, it's me, Noah. I just climbed the biggest hill ever. Did you guys see? Did you see it? <laughs> wow! Going on a Gruffalo adventure, guys. Ready? I literally just turned my back for two seconds and I thought, where have they gone? You see those two tiny little specks up there that look like ants? That's JV and Noah. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Noah's waving. Hello! Oh, God, guys, it's so cold. I feel like in the woodland bit, it wasn't really too cold. Now we're on the beach. It is freezing. Absolutely freezing. I'm so. Oh. <laughs> Why have dads got to do like the most dangerous things with children? Honestly, my anxiety. It's through the roof. You lost your gruffy boots. Oh dear. You love that. You lost your gruffy. Didn't you? Want to go oh, on the sand? Let's go back up again, Lou. Oh, of course he does. <sighs> wow. Come on, gruffy. <laughs> Come on, gruffalo. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy when doing anything dangerous. Mama, on the other hand. Not so much. Hello! <laughs> Be careful! Oh my goodness. Ready? Whoa! Woo! <laughs> so happy. <laughs> again, he's not doing it again, Dada. <laughs> walk I'm feeling very windswept <laughs> I am just about to go upstairs get a nice shower um, and get changed but we actually after we had been for our walk we went over to Wells because um, that's right next to Holcomb and as you guys know Wells is one of my favorite places ever and we just had a little walk around the town, got a little hot drink. And I went into one of my favourite home interior shops ever. Like, it's literally one of my favourite places. It's one of those shops that is just 
you know, and just want everything. It's called Over the Garden Wall. Um, so if any of you guys go to Wells Next to Sea, please have a look at that shop. It is just beautiful. And I picked up a couple new bits. So I thought I could share with you what I got. First things first, I got myself a new mini chopping board. I have a chopping board addiction. Um, I just love them. I just think they make the kitchen so like cozy and they're great for covering up like ugly plug sockets um and i don't have one quite this mini so i thought it'd be a lovely little d addition i would have got more but jamie was with me um and he doesn't support my chopping board addiction I got these because they were 50 percent off a lot of the bits i picked up were actually end of season sales so they were like more than half price which i was just so happy about so I got these little neutral trees. I just thought they were so cute. And these were 50% off. Thought they'd be obviously nice for next year because they're Christmas trees and we're in January. This little book, it's the tiny house book and it's so cute. Like there are so many cute little like Airbnbs in here. It's just like such a cozy little book, look. And I don't have a mini book, so I thought, again, this would be great for styling on the shelves, on the coffee table. The rest of the bits, I'm pretty sure, are all ceramics. They have, honestly, the most beautiful, like, vases and pots and plates and bowls. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I love the colours. I love the textures. I love the shape. I just love this vase so much. And this was actually half price. It was down from £40 to £16. And I just thought, what an absolute bargain. Um, and you don't often find anything quite like this. So I just thought it was really special um, and quite different. And it reminds me of my favourite place. Then I got this little vase, which I just thought was really cute. And again, I thought this could go in the hallway or on our shelves thought that was really pretty again love the texture of this um, and this again was half price and then the last thing I think this might be my favorite I picked up this pot it's like this and this is going to be perfect for our teaspoons I really wanted a nice pot that we could keep like our coffee spoons in um, love love that shop so much and i can't wait to go back the lady did say that they have got new stock in february so i'll be going back in feb um but yeah these are my new little home buys of today so plans for now are i'm gonna go um and get sorted because i just feel like you know after you've been to the seaside for a walk this i feel like the sea air makes me feel all like sticky um so i'm looking forward to just washing my face having a nice hot shower um and then i'm gonna make our dinner um so we're gonna have italian meatballs for dinner homemade italian meatballs in a homemade rich tomato sauce i made this recipe between christmas and new year and it was delicious noah loved it as well and i feel like whenever noah loves a recipe i it just makes me so happy it's quite as satisfying than when your toddler eats and enjoys the food that you have made like that's just such a satisfying feeling um and it's delish and i usually make double and then freeze half of the meatball so then we can just have it in the week or whenever um so yeah gonna get all cozy and then i'm gonna make our homemade meatballs
My homemade meatballs are all ready. I've just popped some parmesan on top and also some fresh basil. I am so excited to eat this. This is one of my favorite recipes ever so so yummy and also really easy and you can have the meatballs with they're really lovely with some crusty bread you know that you can dip in the sauce um or some pasta or rice or with a salad we are actually going to have ours with pasta um and yeah i'm going to serve it up now cannot wait to eat it Having his little tea and biscuits. A little daily tradition, isn't it, Loa? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, lovely. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> you show yeah. us your dip in. You show us your dip dip. That's the dip dip motion. <laughs> He's got his little baby bear mug, which is just the cutest thing in the whole world. This little toddler tower is by far one of the best purchases i think i've ever made he absolutely loves it um and we use it so much especially now he is wanting to like be up the worktops more helping me cook helping me bake like it's just the best thing ever um and also it folds up which is just brilliant so these little um steps they like fold up so you can store it really easily you going back for a bicky yeah show us how you climb your tower then wow Show us a demonstration. <laughs> it's the perfect tower for tea and biscuits, hey Noah? <laughs> dip, dip. Oh, I will never get over how cute that is. <laughs> you're gonna have to ignore the fact that I am so sniffly and I'm probably gonna sneeze multiple times I feel like I feel like we're getting a cold again guys honestly <clears throat> we've been well for about a week and I think I think another cold is on the horizon anyway it is now a couple hours later it's actually like my favorite one of my favorite times of day where I feel like the day is coming to a close um, we've had dinner, we've had a lovely day together, Noah's gone up to bed and it's kind of like just time to unwind a little bit before me and Jamie head to bed and I just, I really love this time of day, I think it's like so relaxing. It is currently quarter past eight, um, I've just made myself a little lemon, ginger and honey tea, loving having like a herbal tea in the evenings at the moment. Um, I like to either have a lemon and honey or a peppermint. I feel about 80 years old saying that. <laughs> Just going to bed with my peppermint too. Um, but no, like I was saying earlier, I feel so much like more pregnant. Um, and especially after I've eaten my dinner, I just feel like, phew, I feel so heavy and so full. So drinking like a nice herbal tea before bed, I feel like it really helps me not feel uncomfortable in bed. Um, so yeah loving a little herbal tea and guys this cup i can't tip it too much but it's the cutest cup ever it's got a little floating well it's not floating but it's like a little cat that pokes out the tea it's literally so cute jamie actually got me this for christmas we did um 
each other like stockings this year which was so stocking presents and it just makes me so happy like drinking out of this mug and there's like a little peeking cat's head look at me it's a choice tonight i am about to watch an episode of something i feel like the whole world is watching at the moment um which is fool me once it's on netflix it's got michelle keegan in it and it is amazing i'm on like episode three and it's just so good so i've been kind of like rationing my episodes we've not been binging this one i'm like no this is too good to binge i feel like we need to watch an episode a night and try and make it last as long as we can if you like a crime like kind of thriller you will love fool me once um another one that's really good that we've just finished which came out on new year's day is the new tourist on bbc iplayer again if you like like a british crime thriller then would recommend the tourist um but yeah that is my evening i'm gonna watch an episode of this and then head up to bed <clears throat> oh something else i really wanted to update you guys on which i completely forgot about this morning when we were having like our big catch up um is a wedding update <laughs> lots of you guys have been asking for a wedding update um our wedding series kind of just like disappeared off the face of the earth and the reason for that being, obviously, baby number two. He is the culprit. <laughs> um, basically, wedding plans are gonna be postponed purely because I am due to have baby in May. Obviously then I'm gonna be um, completely soaking up the newborn stage and just, just having a baby because I feel like with Noah, I like now know just how precious time is when they're little and how quickly time goes by and how quickly they change. I'm just like more aware of that than ever. So this year is definitely gonna be like all about baby. Like I wanna soak up every single second with him. Um, so wedding planning has been postponed. We haven't booked anything. Um, as you guys know from our last, our last episode of our wedding series, we had been to look at venues we are pretty sold on a venue um but i'm really glad we didn't book anything i don't know why but just i even felt like when we were looking around venues and stuff it there was something that just did not feel like the right time and i could not put my finger on it at all and now looking back obviously it was a really good job that we didn't book anything um because baby number two is coming and i should probably think our wedding is now going to be like in a couple years not not really too sure yet to be honest it's not really something i've been thinking about um too much just kind of said before we are in like no rush to get married i love being engaged um we know that we want to get married at some point in the future but there just isn't any pressure on it so i just wanted to update you um wedding plans have been postponed but i don't know it something feels right like i said earlier i really do feel like i'm on the right path and i feel like even just thinking of our wedding day now with our two boys there just makes it feel um so much more special my loves that is gonna go ahead and end today's vlog thank you all so much for spending such a lovely day with me um and yeah super excited for all of the upcoming vlogs as always if there's anything in particular you'd like to see just let me know i'm thinking i am gonna film a big new year clean with me really soon and i want to get back into doing those monthly because i feel like i was on the ball with those um and then i feel like it's kind of like christmas and everything was a bit busy so i'm gonna bring back the monthly cleaning videos hope you're all having a lovely day a lovely week whenever you're watching this and i will catch up with you all really soon night night